What's going on everybody? I'm Matthew Christopher. So yeah, this is my YouTube channel. Welcome all you newbies. Please subscribe. I don't know where, which way to point, but I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Also, I'm taking off my socks. Sorry. It got a little hot, got a little sweaty trying to set all this up. If you're looking for motivation, if you're looking for guidance, if you're looking for shoot marketing, how I'm doing, what I'm doing, graphic design, anything like that, yeah, you came to the right page. And if you want a goofy kid that is sitting on a pink couch, even though it doesn't look like a pink couch and the couch is probably older than my great grandmother then you've come to the right place what got me started on this because i did feel so strong about motivation and i, and I felt so strongly that i do have a platform even if it's only a few thousand followers and two other reasons why i started this video probably three or four but i continuously got asked dude how are you where you are today what what steps in your life did you take to get to where you are today? i am who i am through the struggles that i went through to be who i am today i'm going to be real and i'm going to pour my heart and soul out into these videos people just continuously asking me hey you know what what steps took you you are today we'll find out that there was a lot more backfall than there was steps there wasn't there was a lot of learning instead of successes and yeah I, I use that learning instead of failure there was no failure that got me to where I needed to be today because a lot of times I feel like I'm pulling the arrow back and I'm shooting and it just falls flat somewhere out into the interweb and nobody sees it nobody picks it up you're just clicking like just for the heck of it and you know that's what I feel a lot of days and it's those days that really bring it home to me as far as like when somebody comes up to me and is like you have no idea how much you either made me laugh made me cry I sit there and I'm like wow maybe I am having some type of impact and maybe I can extend my impact to not only my community family but the world and sorry I about drooled <laughs> No joke, I have two phrases that come to mind over and over and over and over again. Three, okay, three phrases. Three phrases in my life. One that was brought to me by my dear friend and who we connected on not only a spiritual level, but an emotional level. So, so damn you Peg, and we'll get on to Peg here in a minute. And oh my God, this can't be real. God is amazing. Those are the two, two phrases in my life. And then the third one, third and foremost, is this, this or something better. And I'm not trying to steal that from anybody. It is solely true. Probably my next video will be the whole this or something better type thing. But damn you, Peg. First off, who is Peg? So Peg is my spiritual mentor. And that's what I'm calling her. That might not be the appropriate term for her, but she is my spiritual mentor. I stumbled upon Peg by chance, and I can't even call it by circumstance anymore. I was meant to meet this woman. If you are in anywhere in driving distance in Duluth, Georgia, go see Peg. But anyway, so I thought it was no joke, a yoga studio. I went into there thinking, typical client, drop the shirts off, say hey, interact with her promote my business, see what else I can do for, and that be done. Boy, was I completely wrong. I don't know if I can say Zaxby's, but whatever. I went to Zaxby's a while ago. So anyway, 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 drop off shirt. She's in session. Her session's about to get over. Well, I sat next to this little sat beside this lady, and then Peg comes out. And before, like, without hesitation, this woman gives me the biggest hug, not even a handshake. And for me, like, I'm a hugger, but I've learned that you can't always hug, especially when you're in a position that I am because, you know, people are like, what the hell is this guy doing? But without question, without hesitation, she gives me a hug and we start the conversation. And I would venture to say that's where a chapter in my life closed and a, and a new one opened. I literally could have passed out on the floor when I started talking to her. When I walked into that place, I was, what you say, I was overwhelmed, completely overwhelmed. I'd taken on way too much of my schedule. So all of us, whether you believe it or not, we all have energy, whether it's good energy, whether it's bad energy, we all have energy, we all attract the energy we have and we desire. Put negative stuff out, we get negative stuff back. You put positive stuff out, you get positive stuff back. But I choose to believe there's good in every situation. Always have, always will, and you can't change me. I have let my life get so clouded with negative people, bad stuff and stress, overworking myself, relationships that I thought was what was supposed to happen wasn't supposed to be and I continued to let them go throughout my life longer than they should. Um, friendships, you, you name it, I 
I was letting it build up, build up, build up, build up, build up. So I left. After we had talked and all that, I left and I felt amazing. Literally woke up the next day and those things that were bothering, those things that I'm like, there is no way I'm going to get done happened. And then this happened and then this happened. And you know, things that just started happening that were, I don't know if you would say, un I, I would say unexplainable because it had never happened in my life before. And I knew you prayed it in God's time and divine time it would happen. I did not realize what all that meant until I walked out of Yo Ray life and until I met Peg and gave her a hug. I've never felt so good in my life that I had so much piled on, but I had this sense of I'm going to be able to become what I want to be. So I was letting the world get to me, so to speak. I was letting those negative vibrations get to me. So she told me things about like my ex, my business, like just stuff that I had been thinking about and that had been on my mind and how she taught me how I needed to just breathe life into it. And I encourage you so much not to put your light in a box. Don't, don't just section off yourself because it's comfortable. Don't just close it all in. This world is so bad and people you encounter every day is so important to your well-being, but you've got to breathe great energy into it. Breathe great life into it. And that's one thing that she has taught me along the way. Don't box in your light. Like, okay, if you are in the darkest of places, are you going to hold your light in your hands and walk or are you going to point it in the direction you want to go? You're going to point it in the direction you want to go and let it radiate. Like a light, yes, it beams strongly in one position, but it also filters out. And imagine that beam of light being you and you filtering out through not only your friends, but your family, your business, your job. Think about how great that would be to do. We just choose to get so trapped in the day-to-day -day. we live in a what is on our phone is what i will do and it's so sad to see people close up when they have so much potential but they live so vicariously through facebook through instagram that they forget to have fun you have a light to shine and nobody and i repeat nobody is here to cover it up the only person that should even remotely be allowed to cover it up is you, but you shouldn't even do that as well because you have so much potential. I don't care how old you are that's listening to this. You always have a reason. You always have a potential. You always have a goal to complete. Strive for greatness, strive for excellence because you can. Life didn't hand you what you have today without knowing that you could handle it. So whether you're going through depression, whether you, you're living the high life, whether you're struggling through debt, I've been there. I'm gonna leave you with this. We all have a life. If you are breathing, you have a life. You know, as long as you're moving forward, you're moving forward. And you have to realize that. And I had to realize that. We're not common people. We weren't built to be common people. Just know that you, that you are so great in so many aspects of your life that even if you are in a bad spot, always know that there's light because you are great. And I keep saying that and I hope it sinks in your head because it is that simple. It really, really is that simple. Lastly, check out Peg, Yo Ray Life. The link to her website's in the comments below. Check her out, she's amazing. When you see her, if you book with her, she's about three weeks out, but when you see her, challenge her. Make sure she knows I did a video, she's gotta do a video. Love you guys, love you Peg, don't kill me.